Chinese state-run media have recently done a backflip over the country's re-education system, dashing hopes that the controversial labor camps will be abolished anytime soon. On its official microblog site on Monday, CCTV reported that Meng Jianzhu, China's security chief, has proposed the closure of the re-education through labor system by the end of this year. The announcement was then reported by other Chinese media as well. Shortly afterward, however, state-run Xinhua News Agency reported that the system would only be put through reform. CCTV's initial announcement was removed without explanation. The whole system is aborted. That would be a, a great thing to see. Uh, because this is one of the most effective way uh, for the Communist Party to uh, suppress people. However, we are not sure if the um, Communist Party will come up some some other substitutes, like uh, just to rename it to, like, to a different organization and then to resume the same functions. Xinhua did not outline what kind of reform would be carried out. The article only mentioned some of the shortcomings of the labor camp system, like the arbitrary powers used to force people into the system. Currently, a person can be forced into labor re-education for up to four years without a trial. Accounts of torture and abuse are also common from Chinese forced labor camps. Increased awareness has led to mounting calls for the Chinese regime to abolish the system altogether. The Chinese regime created the labor camp system in the 1950s. Xinhua reports the country currently has 350 labor camps, holding around 160,000 inmates. Human rights groups, however, estimate the number to be anywhere from at least 200,000 people to as many as 2 million. Proposals to reform the system will be considered by the National People's Congress in March. The Congress is the Chinese regime's parliament, widely considered a rubber-stamp Congress.